You guys have been asking me to create another tutorial on Morpholio trays. And here it is. In my last video, we worked on a 2D drawing inside Morpholio trays. And this time, I thought it would be great to show you how we can explore a 3D drawing in the app. First of all, thank you so much for showing so much love on my previous video. If you haven't watched it already, here's the link. And in today's video, we will take a SketchUp model with materials, export it, and then bring it into Morpholio Trace to study the diagram. Now, let's get started. Here you can see the 3D diagram I created in SketchUp. Now, I'll go to the top menu bar, click on File, Export, 3D Model, choose the USDZ file format, and save it to my iPad. Next, I will open Morpholio Trace app on my iPad, I will tap on the plus icon, select the 3D model and import the file I just exported from SketchUp. And here we have it, our 3D model with materials. You can see the wooden textures clearly. I will adjust the view according to how I want to sketch my diagram. Once I'm happy with the angle, I'll tap on tick and now my view is ready. Notice that the perspective tool is on. I have a two-point perspective drawing here with the blue guide showing the perspective and the red lines marking the vanishing point. Next, I will decrease the opacity of the background image, create a new layer and reduce the paper opacity. Then, I will select the ultra-fine marker in black color and start sketching my diagram. With the perspective assistant turned on, my lines automatically follow the correct perspective. This is the one of the reasons Morpholio Tree stands out. It's specially designed for architects and interior designers to create scale drawings and tracing feels so much smooth and intuitive. So, one by one I will trace all the lines. You can always adjust the pen size to your preference. Isn't it so easy to work this way? Honestly, I can spend hours tracing diagrams and Morpholio trays. Once the base lines are ready, I will hide the background layer and begin designing the interiors. I will reduce the pen size and start adding doors, handles and the tables for the display area. Using the lighter shade of grey makes it easy to distinguish elements. According to your project, you can roughly design elements like this to represent what's happening inside the building. Then, I will move on to adding facade elements. Now, it's time for details. Using the stencil tool, I will add lamps inside the building with the roller brush. I will lock the scale, place them and adjust the size according to the perspective. To show glass effect, I will reduce the opacity of the lamp's layer. And here we have a stubble realistic look. Next, I will add human figures to bring life to the drawing. Using the stencil tool again, I will place figures around the building. Walking, sitting or standing. For the ones inside, I will switch the color from black to lighter gray to suggest they are behind the glass. Morpholio trace also allows merging layers, which make managing these figures really convenient. Now, since this is a museum located in the forest, I will add trees and vegetation around it. Using the stencil tool and the roller brush, I will place trees both in the front and the behind of the building. For the trees visible through glass, I will use the lighter grey colour while for the outside ones, I will keep them darker for the contrast. To add color to my illustration, I will create a new layer. Select the roller brush in green color. Make sure your color layer stays below the line drawing. This instantly brings character to your illustration. After that, I will add shadows. On a new layer, I will take the roller brush with the black color, reduce the opacity around 30% and sketch shadows under the deck, trees and the human figures. Shadows add so much realism.
For the glass, I will use the hatch tool with no fill and reduced opacity. I will give the glass panels a lighter grey tone, adding depth and a true 3D effect. To finish the structure, I like adding bold outer lines to frame the diagram. These thicker outlines give a hand-drawn character and make the sketch pop. I will also extend some perspective lines in the grey to enhance the sketchy look. Now, for the background, I will use the roller brush in blue colour on a new layer placed at the very bottom to softly create the sky. Lowering the opacity keeps it stubble and natural. With this, illustration is ready. I will move on to annotation. Using the red dashed line, I will label important elements like ribbon windows for sunlight. You can customize the font, size and the placement easily. To show environmental context, I will add a sun path using the circular tool and yellow dotted line. Then with the stencils, I will place sun symbol and a blue arrow for the wind direction. You can also add side context like vegetation, roads or the surrounding elements if needed. Finally, when you are happy with your drawing, just tap on the share button on the top right. You can export it as a PDF, image, PSD or a vector file. I will choose image, best quality and then save it to my files. I hope this tutorial helped you understand how to use Morfolio Trace and SketchUp together to create clean and efficient architectural diagrams. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with your fellow architects and designers. And if you would like to go further, don't forget to check out the link in the description box below. You will find my courses and resources there to level up your skills. Thanks for watching. I am Krithika, your guide and your friend. If you have any queries regarding Morfolio Trays or if you have any suggestions for the future video, drop them in the comment box below. I will see you next time. Till then, happy designing. Bye-bye.